So they say, people lacking a strong immune system, those, who are at, those people are at risk, or highly pathogenic strain threatening young people and, and healthy, uh, healthy people in whom the damage result from overly powerful host inflammatory immune responses. So they literally say, more inflammation or you lack a strong immune system. Those are the people at risk. But all the science shown in children, even CDC funded studies, show that you actually suppress the immune response against the virus through this manner. Or you promote a stronger inflammatory immune response. You weaken the specific antiviral capabilities of our immune system, but you promote a higher inflammatory immune response. That's what the vaccine is shown to do. And the study literally paints the picture perfect for us to understand that. So literally, they, they can't even see it for themselves. But yet they admit the vaccine doesn't work for the best way in which our immune system would work. Because when we get a natural infection, here is, you have to, ch you have to realize that there is no preventing the flu and you wouldn't want to. You want your children to have exposure to the flu, but you want it naturally. And you want to be supporting their body the right way, nutritionally and herbally, chiropractically, all ways, reducing stress. Do the things that support a natural, normal, and healthy function of their immune system. You want to be breastfeeding them so that they get viral neutralizing antibodies through your breast milk. So there's an immune system. There's, there's multiple. There's IgG. There's IgE. There's IgM. There's IgA. And I'm going to talk specifically about IgA. It's mucosal secretory IgA. It's a mucosal membrane immune response. If you go through natural infection, you're going to inhale or ingest or expose the mucosal membrane of your sinuses to the virus. And through that exposure, your immune system, this is why your tonsils look like sponges and they're very, they have large crevices. They're there to literally catch bacteria and viruses in the air, catch them in those crevices. So your immune system starts to recognize that supporting the mucosal membrane immune response so that it can neutralize the virus before it gets internally in your body, thus reducing viral load and the need for an inflammatory immune response to neutralize and kill off infected cells or the virus internally. It primes the immune system. But we bypass that or we even cut it out in medicine. Instead of addressing the underlying misalignments oftentimes that cause the neurogenic inflammation causing the stones and the swelling of the tonsils. And saving a child's 80 some percent of children in one study were able to save their tonsils if they got adjusted by chiropractors. Folks, the IgA, secretory IgA immune system can actually secrete neutralizing antibodies or neutralizing compounds and proteins to be able to capture and neutralize. So these little star looking spinny wheels, all right? Prickly wheels, these are the viruses, all right? When it's inside the digestive tract, so up in here, this is your digestive tract or your mucosal membrane barrier, okay? Here's your barrier, here's your mucosal membrane. One cell layer thick. Secretory IgA immune system pumps out these secretory IgA compounds that then bind to the virus and neutralize it in an anti-inflammatory, non-inflammatory immune re system response. Doesn't take inflammation, meaning no tissue damage. They are showing time and time again, it isn't the virus that causes the death. It's the inflammation in the body that causes the death of the individual inflammatory cytokine storm, but that's internally systemically and that's driven primarily through an IgG immune response. 
So guess what the immune va or the vaccine, the flu vaccine does? It promotes, and if you read the study, it promotes an IgG immune response, increasing the inflammatory response to the influenza virus. Meanwhile, not promoting this IgA immune response through your mucosal membrane. I would rather keep them outside my body, my children's body. But the only way to train this system is through natural infection. So you pump out these proteins, binding to these viruses, neutralizing them, not even allowing them into the body or the vast majority of them into the body. Where then the IgG immune response would have to take care of them. But this is red and inflammatory. This causes the tissue damage and destruction. Thus, that is exactly why you see increased tissue damage in the lungs and the body of individuals who are vaccinated. Because it suppresses and doesn't activate this mucosal membrane immune system. That's what the vaccine does. When you inject it into their arm, not going through their mucosal membrane. And science knows this. And it literally talks about, if we could only find an effective, if we could only find a vaccine that wouldn't kill the host and kill the person, that was effective enough to activate this IgA immune response to enable them to fight it off the way the body is designed to fight it off efficiently and non-inflammatory wise so that we could actually reduce the mortality rate. If only we could figure out a vaccine that could do this. But meanwhile, they didn't realize, and they're not, it was down to like 12 children the year before they allowed for the vaccine to be promoted to children under the age of five. As young as six months old, 12. And in 2017-18, highest ever reported number of children who died from the flu. Highest ever. They had the science. So to me, it's like, oh, they mean well. No, they don't. They know what they're doing. They just don't care. If they cared, they'd pay attention to the science.